So welcome to the second session of our Meditation in Motion series. We're going to start by <clears throat> centering ourselves, which means we want our feet to be grounded. And if you imagine, here's a triangle and up the middle from earth up into heaven. Kind of feel that. And then take your hands, rub them together. And we want to be in the present moment. Clap a little, rub them together, and then inhale and pull them apart. Imagine <clears throat> that your left hand is the past, and you're just going to push the past away. The right hand would be the future, and it's all behind, it's all here, ahead of us, and we push that away. So we now symbolically are saying, okay, I'm going to live in the middle here. And this session is all about being in the middle, being centered. And you start feeling that and let your whole body feel that as you're inhaling and exhaling in a very relaxed manner, feeling your feet grounded, your head up, so your posture is good. You're being drawn up into the heavens and anchored into the earth. And at the same time, <clears throat> your body is expanding totally all around you, just like that big sphere. So what we're going to do is a gathering breath, palms up, think down, inhale through the nose, and exhale as you push down. Okay, another time, inhale. Nice, slow, remember LSD, long, slow, deep breathing. Exhale. One more time, relax totally with the exhale. So your body is ready to take in a nice deep breath again in through the nose and imagine your hands pressing that oxygen into all 3.7 trillion cells in your body. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a centering breath. Very easy and important when you need a meditative moment in the midst of chaos. And we often find ourselves in a chaotic situation or just feeling stressed. So what we do is this. Either hand will be an inhale hand, just one hand. So you inhale to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Place your hand on your heart. Count to four. One, two, three, four, and relax. So it's a four, four count. The first four is taking it in, just slowing down, inhaling, inspiring yourself. And the second four is with your hand on your heart as you exhale. This enables us to speak, to act in a more peaceful, kind manner than if Somebody said something to us, we get upset, blah, 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 and we can't take those words back. So we want to leave with our heart. We want to feel comfortable, relaxed, and kind. So we inhale, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Easy to remember. Try it one more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hand on heart, one, two, three, four, that's it. Takes less than 10 seconds to do, and it's easy. So it's centering breath with hand on heart. Okay. Now, the uh, other <clears throat> breath practice I'd like to share with you, I call entering the silence or coming to a still point. Again, we're going to use the count of four, but very simply, we're going to count to four with the inhale, four with the exhale, and then stay with the exhale, that empty space, as long as you can. You can use your hands if you wish on this. So it's one, two, three, four, and just breathe in as deep as you can, and exhale. One, two, three, four, and then stay with the exhale. Get rid of all the air and just stay there. It's going to be different for each one of us, but at some point, you're going to want to inhale naturally, and you do. So just appreciate the silence. Okay, breathe regularly. Notice the position of our hands. We're like pressing down, pressing away any kind of tension, anything that is not going to be good for us. And we're creating a wonderful space 
where the earth is silent and we're just filling that space. We're entering that silence. It's like a quiet cave, if you will. So let's do that again. So we inhale, one, two, three, four, or inhale as deep as you want. Makes no difference with the count. And then exhale fully. That's the idea. Empty your lungs all the way and stay there. Okay, so that is what we call a still point. Nothing's happening. We're not inhaling, we're not exhaling. We're giving ourselves a break, a time out, if you will. Okay, shake a little bit, and we're going to do a little whole body breathing. Now, remember what that ancient sage said about you breathe in through the bottoms of your feet. So imagine the air. Imagine whatever richness comes from the soil and the earth, Mother Earth, coming up and filling your body like a balloon. So it's going to fill here first and then out through the fingers. If we had a balloon, that's the way it goes, right? So we inhale and feel your whole being expanded and exhale. No special way for your arms to go down. Just relax, but imagine it filling up in the middle first. That's the way to go. And then out through the fingertips. Your whole body is involved. So from above, from below, from the side, <coughs> excuse me, just relaxing, nice flowing, whole body breathing, being at one with everything around you. Imagine all of your cells kind of dissolving into the atmosphere around you, feeling the peace and the harmony of it, just where you are right now. Okay. There you go. Now, we're going to work with infinity. First, with our wrists. Just go around, point to the side, down and up, around. And you almost can make this up, but if you kind of relax your wrists first, relax them. Come down, up, and around. Just gentle. We want to lubricate the wrists so the air, the air, the oxygen, <laughs> the energy can flow freely into and through the fingertips. And then you can reverse it too. You start figuring that out. This whole procedure becomes very mindful because we can't think of anything else we're doing. Then add your fingers to it, okay? Here, we'll start here. Expand the fingers. They come together, go down and then open up. Around and up, come together. Down and open up. Notice how we have to focus on what we're doing. And just, you can anchor your elbows. You can go the other way. Anchor your elbows at your waist because we're not doing the elbows just yet. And just feel your fingers going out and coming together, not tight, gently. Now, allow your fists to touch each other like this. Loosen your elbows and just make circles, keeping your hands touching. And you'll notice what's happening to your elbows. They're gently being lubricated, loosened up. And then we'll go in the other way. Three in. One, two, relax your neck and your head. And three, great. Kissing elbows, palms up and cross over. And now remember, you're going to inhale, head comes up, elbows come back as though they're going to kiss or touch. Your chest, your heart is up front, your back is arched, and then come forward and let the hands cross. Let me just fix something here. Okay, cross. And then again, now know you're hunched over at this position, your head is over, is down, and your spine is bent forward. And now your spine is going to bend back. And as it bends back, it lifts your head. <clears throat> and your shoulders go back. And you feel the stretch right across your chest. And then as you come forward, this would be an exhale. And your head comes down as your back bows. And your arms cross. Sink the knees. 
And as you straighten up in your back archers, your knees get straighter, your elbows kiss. And you, after a while, can create a rhythm with this, whether or not <clears throat> your breathing is synchronized. This obviously, your lungs would be contracted, would be an exhale as you go down. And then as you open up and fill your lungs, it expands your whole being. And your lungs are full and your chest can open up and feel the wings in the back, your scapula coming together. This one always feels really good. And we cross come down, just open up and relax. Now let's get our shoulders involved. I'm gonna call this walking shoulders, just gentle though, not up to the ear, just walk back, walk backwards. Let your arms hang free. Don't lift your arms, but just lift from the shoulders. This is good for the muscles in the back, muscles around your neck, going backwards and then walk forwards. Notice your arms are just hanging. Just let them hang, relax them. And if you want to feel the difference, take a breath and bring your shoulders up to your earlobes and let it down. Okay, move your head around so your neck is relaxed. And there you go. All right, hips. Now we're going to do simple hip rotations, like a hula hoop. And let's get challenged here and see if we can't do the hip rotations in a figure eight. So we come forward in the middle and then around one side and back, forward in the middle, around and the other side and back. Now that'll slow us down for sure. Can you do that? Give it a try. Relax your shoulders as you do and just do a figure eight hips. You'll notice more of what's going on in that hip joint, in that big joint, your acetabulum. That's the biggest joint in your entire body. So is it important for it to be lubricated and flexible? You bet it is. Okay, and then just end with a circle around in one direction and a circle around in the other direction. Okay. Now, just in case we're not totally flowing and relaxed, we're going to loosen up all of those 37.3 trillion cells by just shaking your hands, just the hands, just the hands. And then shake the arms. Feel that? Feel your wings under here flapping around? Okay. All righty. Now, what we want to do is shake our leg. So shake the leg and shake the other leg. And here's a little fun thing to do. <clears throat> Simply thighs jiggle. Thighs, can you make them jiggle? Just go like that. Feel them jiggle. The thighs jiggle. And can you get your glutes to wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the glutes. Notice, notice what happens when you wiggle the glutes. They're going in one direction, the top is going in the other direction, and the whole top of your body gets relaxed. So let everything get shaken up, okay? Do a little bouncing, relaxing, feel that, okay? This is good to just get things moving around in us. And then take a deep breath and just stand still for a second. What we're going to do with all this energy that we have generated and loosened up, we're going to feed our seven chakras, the energy centers throughout our body. And there are seven of them. Now, I meant to show you a slide of that, which I will do in a moment. Okay, so the first lower one is the root. So our palms are right here. This is the root chakra, physical. So we inhale here. Come around and forward. You could do that again. Inhale here. Notice as you come forward, your arms come back. Then go on up to the navel. This is like we're scooping from the sides. Again, in the navel, just relax. Just draw in the energy into the navel area. Then the solar plexus here. 
And you can just loosen up a little bit as you're doing this so your shoulders get relaxed because you're just gathering. The air contains the energy that you need and just feed that into the solar plexus chakra and then go up a little higher, but your elbows can be low. They can be relaxed. The idea is gather with those palms. Now remember the energy is going out through them into the heart, into the heart. And then <clears throat> into the throat. Notice as you draw in, your weight goes to the soles of your feet. As you come around, it goes back. So you can do this in any way you want. But the idea is to draw in through those areas. And then the crown, oh, the third eye, excuse me, that would be right in the forehead here. Again, this is gentle. So relax your shoulders into the third eye. Now these chakras are energy centers and they're not just a spot or a dot. They're actually centers that radiate out through the front and radiate into the back. So right through you, this is where you radiate all kinds of energy. We've looked at those energy spheres. And then the crown chakra above your head, just above the head. Kind of smooth it out, feed it energy, feel the energy expand. Okay, then let's go down from the crown to the third eye. The third eye to the throat. Notice how gentle and effortless this is. From the throat to the heart. Relax the shoulders. <clears throat> From the heart to the solar plexus, just below the heart. And from the solar plexus, we go to the navel. And from the navel, we go to the root. We're going to draw down light. You've surrounded yourself with this beautiful energy. Palms up. And just draw down. Perhaps it will be a blue green, but notice we're going right through the center, the middle of our being. And those are how the chakras are lined up. <clears throat> so this is helping align them in a way that will be healthy for us in body, mind, and spirit. And down we go again, drawing down the light. So we're gathering the light, the energy, color, whatever you might imagine. And feel it in your palms, through your fingers. Let it radiate down through that central meridian, that central channel, that sheepfold, whatever you want to call it. Okay, beautiful. Now when the hands come down, Shift your weight to one leg. All the weight goes on one side. As the weight is shifted to the other leg, the hands come up and you can lift that leg and bring it over. And then one more time, come down. Very slowly until you get to the heart and then prayer hands, namaste. Now this is... <clears throat> Namaste reminds us that we are aligned between heaven and earth. We draw energy from each of those wonderful areas, and it all comes together in the heart. And then as we step to the side, we inhale and exhale down. Beautiful. And relax. Okay, now I invite you to <clears throat> come and sit. And remember, when you sit, to inhale and exhale as you're sitting. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah.
I can't hear you. I can't hear you either. Now I can hear, or I could hear Kathleen. <laughs> it was fast, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Oh, that's on mute. I still can't hear you. I can't hear. Well, do you want to lead the class, Kathleen? Okay, let's see. Oh, yay. It is okay. Can you hear? I can hear. I can hear. Now you can? Yes. Okay, good. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> I'm hearing you off. <laughs> it's a learning experience every time. Honest to goodness, it is. Okay, so we're talking about the middle channel and we're talking about the energy. Uh, centers in those middle channels. And why do we want to understand that? Well, <clears throat> there's a really good reason, and I do love the way John Michael uh, Cabot, John Cabot Zinn, rather, <clears throat> talks about this. But he says, guess what? When it comes right down to it, wherever you go, there you are. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're here. Yeah. <laughs> like it or not, this moment is all we really have to work with. Can you breathe in any other moment besides the present? No, only in the present moment can you take a deep breath. So in every moment we find ourselves at the crossroads of the here and the now. And I love that imagery. Where am I in my life? I'm right here, right in the middle of the crossroads. When is this happening now? So here and now is what I would easily define mindfulness to be. And there's one more, I shared this with you before. It's a beautiful quote from him. And it says, <clears throat> when, when we can be centered in ourselves, in ourselves, even for brief periods of time, such as just taking that deep breath in for four and holding it in your heart for four, not having to look elsewhere for something to fill us up or make us happy. And how often do we do that? We can be at home home, wherever we find ourselves, at peace with things as they are, moment by moment. The moment is precious. So we need to give ourselves techniques, gift ourselves with techniques to, to move into that moment. And that simple is one way to do it with a simple breath. One way to do it, to remember where you are and why you're there. So seeing that, uh, I think we will just move on and practice our moving meditation. There we go. Good. Okay. So it is still recording, I hope. And I'm going to stand up again. And I invite you all to stand up as well. And as you do, appreciate the moment of your standing. In other words, inhale and exhale as you go up. So you know where you are at any given moment. Okay. Let me just see that. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. We're gonna start off with our flowing motion. Now, bring your hands back like we did the last time. You wanna be aware of the energy around us. Just bring them back, hold them up behind you. Okay. We'll get into the flowing motion from this beginning. Still holding it back. What's that feel like? Here's a moment, huh? What's happening? Anything changing? You feel something in your arms? They're getting tired a little bit, perhaps? Now, just gently let them flow. Allow your arms to come down. And then what happens? They are going to float up almost by themselves. 
And we'll just practice a little flowing motion. It's a very soothing, calming move. And we make an infinity sign, figure eight behind us. And up we go. Another infinity sign. Notice the loose wrist, the gentle fingers. Palm, softly cut. Challenging to move slowly, isn't it? Notice the rocking on the bottoms of your feet. At some point, you'll be putting pressure on your heels. At other points, you'll be putting pressure on your toes or the sole of your foot. And just imagine how soothing the very act of flowing is. You cannot push the river. And when we do this and slow down our breathing, LSD breathing, long, slow, deep breaths, in the way that is natural just for you, you'll discover <clears throat> a moment in time that you gift yourself with. And you can do a lot of exploration during this time, but you're centered in the here and the now. Nothing else to do except pay attention. How are you feeling? And then just relax your arms down. Now let's anchor our feet, feet up, relax them. <clears throat> okay. Need to ask if you can hear me. Yes. Good. Okay. Thank you. Hands flowing through water. Now just Bring your body to one side and let your arms flow. Then bring your body to the other side. Shift your weight. Fingers are pointing towards the earth. Hands are flowing through water. Now there's a resistance here. And the trunk of the body goes first. And then the arms follow. Shoulders are totally relaxed. Totally relaxed. Then turn your toes in just a little bit and go to the side a little more. Kind of let your arms hang down in a way that they're being lifted just by the buoyancy of the water. Now you're going to go around. You're going to discover after a while, you can play with this. Okay, what do I see? You can almost go in a figure eight again if you wish. What would that feel like? <coughs> Flowing around, just relaxing with it. Just relaxing. Hands flowing through water. And then we're going to do a little painting with light. So wrists are soft. Palms are drawn up, feet are just facing forward. Now, as you come down, it's like a paintbrush, right? And as you come down, it's almost as though you're dipping your fingers in the paint and drawing it up so they're a little heavier. And then as you come down, the paint is going on the canvas. Painting with light. Or if your hands were under a waterfall, you'd get resistance going up. And then as you come down, it's going to be a whole lot easier as you slow down. Just allowing that gentle, gentle movement. Okay. Now we're going to create space, otherwise called purifying move from the nine phases medical Qigong. Begin by, again, getting your feet comfortable, soften the knees, and come around to the heart. Now, 
as we open our heart, we're going to press out as though we're stretching that heart energy and pushing it out, creating space on either side horizontally. Then relax the hands, relax the shoulders, and bring back that clear space into your heart. Relax there for a moment. We're going to clear the space above ourselves. So palms up and push up. Now with this, imagine the weight heavy, and you can push hard if you wish. And you can even get stiff and push it up and away, and then relax. You've created space above you. And slowly come down in that clear, pure space to your heart. Relax the shoulders. Hands are towards the heart. <clears throat> now we're going to clear the space in front of us and behind us. You imagine it going this way, but this way. Palms up and just press forward. Press away anything that is hindering your path in life. Just push it forward. Okay, and then let it go. Send it out and then Gently come back, palms face the earth, and then palms will face the heart. And relax there for a moment. We've cleared that space. And there's one more area, and that's below us. So our palms face the earth and press down. Press, press, press into the earth. So any toxins we have, put it into the earth. It'll turn into nice fertilizer. No problem. Bring your hands up. Now we're going to repeat that again. Inhaling and exhaling as I push out. And we're going to inhale back into the heart. And slowly exhaling above. Stretching, feeling your whole spinal cord elongated, lifting the weight of the world off of your shoulders and coming on back down, refreshed and lighter than you were before, into the heart. And then who, what is getting in your way? Well, just gently push them aside for now, push them away. And come back to a sense of clarity. And then we're gonna push down some things we just need to get rid of, just need a return to the earth or bury. So we gently but firmly press down and then come back into the heart. And relax. Okay. So this is like the middle of the road here, is it not? We did up and down and in and out. So we're at the here and the now, the center of our being, in the middle. Now, being in the middle can be the calm in the midst of a storm. So calm at the center of the universe. Again, get your feet comfortable. You want to be grounded. And then palms up, gentle fist as you draw back and sink the knees. Get your knees soft. And then we're going to send out on one side. Turn your feet inward just a bit, little pigeon toed, and open your palm as you go across. And keep your shoulder relaxed and come around. Now remember the energy coming from your heart down the arm, your wings of your heart are your arms, and your fingers are they like the feathers at the end of the wings. And what are they pointing to? Just relax into it and then bring it on back. Slowly, no rush. It's a wonderful opportunity. Feel calm, even though you may see things around you that remind you of what you need to do or didn't do. Grasp <laughs> them gently. Make a fist, hold them in your hand, and bring it back. Because you can do something about it later. And then as that side comes back, the other comes forward, palm open, and you look around you. Or look at your fingertips and see what's moving between them. Notice the different colors, the shapes, the textures. Interesting. Appreciating your environment, whatever it is, noticing it until you cannot go further and then come back. Taking nice deep breaths as you do this, 
very natural deep breath and then grasp all the good stuff you've seen into your palm and draw it back in to the calm center of your universe. And again on the other side, palm open. Calmly, calmly goes around. Shoulders relaxed, elbows slightly bent in a natural way until you look around and see. Seeing that which is without any need to change it, that's acceptance. That is calming. Once you accept, notice something, you're aware of it, and then you accept it then you can do something about it, right? So there's a whole story that your environment is going to tell you what thoughts come into your mind. As you come around. Grasp the reality around you. When you practice this, you see more and more with each turn. And draw back. Relax. Straighten your feet out. Now we're going to unite heaven and earth chi in our heart. This is a new move. Did it last week. <clears throat> it's quite welcome. In order to grasp the chi, it's from earth. We open our palms, right? You're going to gather anything. You're going to gather the earth energy and bring it up right in front of you, extending your arms out a bit. Feel that energy in your palm and bring it into your heart center. Once that energy is there, let it go into your heart and then turn your palms around at your shoulder notches here and push out, like you're pressing out through a wall. Now, before your arms have gone too far, we're going to make a circle with each hand, like surrounding the heart with love. Just surrounding it, palms up and pinkies touch. And your hands come up and rise, palms face each other, elbows go out, and it's going to open your hands, just like when we were separating the clouds, right? Dividing the clouds. So we're bringing heaven down. So we're uniting heaven and earth in our heart. And let's do that again. Palms up, drawing into the heart. Hands go to the shoulder notches. Soften the knees as you press forward. And then the elbows go up so you can make two circles, one with each hand, until the palms approach each other with the little fingers touching, rising up now, rising up. Feel yourself expanding into the universe as you do that. And the universe, the sky, and the earth meet. You're combining the two, and that's who we are. It's a combination of earth and heaven. Bring it into the heart. Palms come forward, sink the knees, push forward. Open up, surround your heart with love until your pinkies kiss. And then they rise up, palms touch, open up, then gently separate. Feel that spaciousness. Let's do that again. Relax the shoulders. <clears throat> Fingers are actually facing the earth as you draw up the earth energy into the heart area. And then notice how the elbows go out and the palms come up in front of the shoulders. <clears throat> Very natural. Pressing forward. It's a pressing sensation, but not forceful. And then we're free to encircle that seat of compassion, our heart, and kiss the pinkies together. Let your hands rise up, palms come together, and then they open up and come.
come around and back. And another little painting of light, the light that we are, if we allow it to be, can illuminate any darkness in our life if we feel that peace, which is light. Now, leap blowing in the breeze. Again, relax the legs, kick them out. Down, whatever you need to do, shake the arm. We want to be a flexible tree right now. <clears throat> so here's our leaves. They're facing each other. So feel that sensation here. <clears throat> They're down in the earth right now. So ground your feet into the earth, plant your roots through the bottoms of your feet, and then feel the space between your hands. We're going to do something with that space. Take one hand and push the other one away. Practice that a moment. So they're not touching. But there's like a sensation like magnets opposing each other, right? And then push it away and let it float up. Now this is a leaf floating in the breeze. So you'll notice how your whole, the branch would be your arm. And <clears throat> feel your trunk the flexible trunk going from one side to the other. And you can make up the path because each leaf is different. It's going to blow differently. It may go close to the earth. It may come up. You can point down. You can rise. And you can do this in any way you want, but allow that leaf to float freely. And again, you'll notice if you put your toes pointing towards each other even a little bit, you'll be able to slide that leaf around to the sides even further. Picture a leaf floating in the breeze. Quite lovely. Relax your shoulder. It's like the, the notch in the, between the branch and the trunk. Float it down right in front of you. Creating a breeze in and of itself. Now we're going to bring it home with the other leaf, and it's going to come forward. As it does, its energy is going to push the other one away. Let's try that again and push the other one away. That kind of gives you a feeling of floating. Now we're going to float on the sides, above. You can float past your mind spirit and your heart, all the chakras if you wish, however you want to do it, whatever you want to imagine. But there is a freedom here that is absolutely liberating because if you're a leaf floating in the breeze, there is not a darn thing you can do about it, right? That breeze is going to carry you where it will. So it requires a lot of allowing because if you don't say, oh, I don't want to go that way, guess what? As a leaf in the breeze, you're going to go the way the breeze is going. Sometimes we don't like the way the world is moving, but it is. And if we just go along and observe it and stay peaceful in our center, stay rooted, grounded, it is amazing what we can find ourselves doing. And we can just come back and bring it on home. Never done this before, but I wonder if both leaves started floating at once. Hmm. Well, oh, push them together and send them out. What happens? What happens? It's going to be different for each one of us, isn't it? Yeah. And they're just floating. Now, if your shoulders are tired, Maybe the leaves are going to be blowing around close to the earth. We've seen that when sometimes they even go in a circle as the wind sends them around and around and around. This is a wonderful move to play with. With both hands, yeah. One leaf could go in one direction and the other in the other direction, perhaps. 
explore it. This is an easy thing to remember because you don't have to remember anything except that you got two leaves and you got the wind blowing them around and that they do have a relationship between them. Okay, so let's bring them on home now. Let them land gently into the earth. And a little painting of light, just one more. And you think of leaves that have let go are beautiful colors. So imagine you're painting this beautiful color. One more time, soften the knees. Up we go. Feel those wrists to left shoulders are relaxed and float down. Now, <clears throat> cloud hands. Again, shift your weight so that your legs don't get tired. You can even lift one leg up as you're doing this. It's your body, the trunk of your body goes to one side, all the weight goes over there and you can step with this if you wish. You all know this move. Cloud hands, what kind of clouds are you making? This is a bit of a different sensation, although it is the breeze that the wind that blows the clouds around. What kind of clouds are in your life? What is the glory of when the sun shines through the clouds, through a break in the clouds? <laughs> Allow images to float into your consciousness. And again, if you feel like walking with it, you can walk with it. And move. And then embrace the tree. So feet are facing forward. Arms come around, we become tree huggers. So you imagine if you're hugging that tree, I rather, I kind of like the idea of being the tree and feeling my roots going down and the sap flowing up through the middle, the midline in the center. Centering is so important. And upwards, it goes out like that. Right? The sun shines down from above. Rain comes from above, so we're nourished from above. The soil gives us nourishment. So this just being in this position for a while, you may need to lower your elbows to be comfortable, can be extremely relaxing because we're really allowing energy to flow through us not doing anything about it. You can't make it happen. You can only allow it to happen. And then hands come up. Relax your legs. Okay. Now let's conclude by taking this energy in our palms and rubbing them again and clapping them again. We're going to do what we call palming, placing our palms over our eyes. They're going to feel warm. And so just relax and just cup your hands, place them over your eyes. You don't see anything. It's dark. And that is fine. That is fine. Be peaceful in the darkness where nothing's going on. Nice deep breath. Relax. Do you see any colors or anything there? What's it feel like? Just relax. And take a deep breath and slide your hands down. So that your index finger comes to index fingers come to either side of the nose, and we're going to press upwards, up the nose, over the eyebrows, and to the temples, pressing and letting go. One more time, just press using the index fingers or a couple of fingers if you wish, <clears throat> up over the brows. Feel that brow line there, and feel your temples, and press out. 
Now we're gonna do the opposite. So start from the top of your nose and come down either side under your cheekbones, feel those cheekbones and then to your ears and flip out. Okay, one more time. Back down, around, we're activating meridians, acupressure points here and flip out. Okay, good. Then take your hands and just pinch your ears from the top an ear massage from the tops of the ears to the bottoms. Feel the lobes and then you can put your fingers inside and just kind of massage around. <clears throat> Take some nice deep breaths while you do this. And just then you can do is take your palms and put them over your ears and go backwards and forwards and press and let go. Whoa, can you feel the coolness around you when you let go? It's always very interesting. Okay, now let's just make sure our necks are relaxed. So we're gonna do the cross fiber massage. One hand on the neck, the other hand on the elbow. Look at the elbow, turn your head and just go, ah, yeah. Just loosen up anything that might be tight there. Nice deep breath as you do it. Loosen and look over towards the hand on your neck. Spend a little time here. And then switch hands. Other hand comes to the neck, other hand to the elbow, looking at the elbow, and then turning your head while you feel the pressure of the hand on your neck and shoulder. Just loosen it up. Good. And then let's just loosen our shoulders, loosen them forwards and back, and the hips go sideways, forwards, a little circle perhaps. Do the hips and the shoulders at the same time, but loose, 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 not tight, not tight. Just kind of loosen all that up, and then the spine, the center starts waving this way as well. And so you're loosening up your entire spinal cord. Just go down and back. Just do what your body wants you to do for a moment. Okay, and stretch if you need to, shake if you need to. <clears throat> Listen, be aware of what's going on inside you. Then you can address the world around you far better. And do a little grounding and closing now. And I'd like to do that double breath, the count to four into the heart. So it's one, two, three, four with an inhale, hand on the heart, exhale to the count of four. Lower the hand in with the other one. Breathe in and out. As a reminder that we want to live from the center of our being, from our heart. Taking both hands now, talking of the heart, you can make kind of a heart over the lower dot hand over the belly button, and then put one hand over the other, whichever way you want to go. And we're going to go clockwise. So in going clockwise, we want to cross over and come up the right side, across the top and down the left. I'm mirroring you. Now gentle, relax the shoulders. So we're just centering in now all that energy, we're grounding. Closing it in to that lower Dantian, which is a power center. So make the circle smaller until your thumbs are right over the lower Dantian. Relax there and take a nice deep breath. And then again, load one leg. Put all the weight in that one leg, in your left leg. Let your arms come down and then push off and bring the foot over as the arms come up. And then one straight down. 
do that for our physical being, strengthen the knees, come around for our mental, our intellectual and spirit, and our intellectual and emotional being. And just draw down the energy, leaving ourselves deep. And then our wisdom, our spirit side. Bring that down into the heart, into the namaste, feeling aligned, feeling centered, feeling balanced. Sink the knees, inhale, and step to the side. Palms come down, knowing I just relax. Okay, you may want to move gently, lift the knees, elbows, be peaceful as you move. 